Okay, so today we're going to do reflecting points in the coordinate plane. So we want to graph each point, then reflect the point in the x-axis. Record the coordinates of the reflection. So the first point we have is A, which is 1, 3. So first let's plot that. We have to go... So we would go 1 to the right and then up 3. And we would plot that right here. That's point A. So now if we want to reflect over the x-axis, which is here, that means we actually have to go over the x-axis. But when we reflect, the points need to be symmetrical. So if this is three points away from the x-axis, we have to go three points away from the x-axis on the other side. So the reflection of point A has to be three points away on the other side. So it would land right here. And then we call that reflected point A prime, and we put a little apostrophe. So now the ordered pair of that point is one to the right, three down. So it's positive one and negative three. So A prime is at positive one and negative three. Now I'm gonna erase this. Point B is at negative two, negative two. So we start at the origin, we go two to the left and two down. So this is point B. We wanna reflect across the x-axis, so we have to go across the x-axis. So to cross the x-axis, we would have to go up. So this is two units away, so we have to go two units away on the other side. So B prime would end up right here. That's across the x-axis, and it's symmetrical. They're both two units away from the x-axis. So B prime is at the point. We start at the origin, two to the left, two up. So negative two, positive two is the ordered pair for B prime. So now for point C, we're gonna do this a little bit differently. So C we know is at the point negative four, positive five. So four to the left, up five. Here's point C. We wanna reflect across the x-axis. So that means this point has to go down. So right now we can see that point C is in quadrant two. And we know that quadrant two, all the x values are negative and all the y values are positive which is why we have the point negative positive. But once we reflect it down, it's gonna end up in quadrant three. And we know that all the x values in quadrant three are negative, and all the y values in quadrant three are negative. So what I could do is just take the same point that we have, and for C prime, I know that I should make it negative negative, because it's going to end up in quadrant three. Let's try the same process for the last one. So point D is at two, negative five. So two to the right, down five. This is point D. We're reflecting across the x-axis, which means it has to go up. So the point D is starting in quadrant four, which is positive x values and negative y values which you can see also because it's a positive two, negative five. When we reflect it, we're going to quadrant one and all the X values in quadrant one are positive. All the Y values in quadrant one are also positive. So I could just take the same numbers and for D prime, I'm gonna make it a positive, positive. So now for the bottom section, we're going to graph each point and reflect it across the y-axis. So point A is at 1, negative 3, sorry, 1, positive 3. So 1 to the right, up 3. This is point A. We're reflecting across the y-axis now. So the points are moving left and right now. Instead of before, they were reflecting up and down. So if we reflect it across the y-axis, to cross that y-axis, it would have to go to the left. So notice we're starting in quadrant one, which is positive, positive. Once I reflect it, we're going to quadrant two. And in quadrant two, x values are negative, 
y values are positive. So I'm going to take that same number, 1, 3, call it a prime, and I'm going to make it negative 1, positive 3. Okay, now let's do the next one. So we have b, which is at negative 2, negative 2. So here's point b. Again, we're still reflecting across the y-axis. So that means to cross that y-axis, we'd have to go to the right to cross it. So this is quadrant three, which is negative, negative. We're crossing over to quadrant four, which means B prime should be positive X values, negative Y values. See, these are the positive X values. These are the negative Y values. So we change this ordered pair to a positive two, negative two. Point C, negative four, positive five. So this is point C. We're still reflecting over the Y axis, so we'd have to go to the right. So we're going from quadrant two to quadrant one, and quadrant one is positive, positive. So we take the same numbers, we call it C prime, and we're gonna make it positive, positive. Okay, last one, D is at positive two, negative five. So here's point D, still reflecting over the Y axis, so we'd have to go to the left to cross that Y axis. So we're starting in quadrant four, which is positive, negative, going to quadrant three, which is negative, negative. So that means D prime will be negative two, negative five. So now you're gonna try the table at the bottom. Use the ordered pair. First, you're reflecting across the x-axis, which is what we did up here. So your point's moving up or down to reflect. Then you're taking the same point again and reflecting it in the y-axis. So then you take that point and reflect it left or right. Try using the quadrants and the signs, like positive, negative, to help you answer these without having to use a graph.